Coming up on Around Kern County, public health is helping our community stay safe around water. We're giving you a look at their latest campaign and breaking down where you can go to access free resources. And you can get to know our local Kern County Sheriff's Office deputies over a cup of joe. Details on their upcoming Coffee with a Cop events when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. The Kern County District Attorney's Office is inviting the community to take part in National Crime Victims' Rights Week by participating in the 8th Annual Kern County District Attorney's Office Crime Victims March on Wednesday, April 27th. Crime Victims' Rights Week begins April 24th and lasts through April 30th. This year's March will honor people who have been victims of crime with a special emphasis on victims who have lost their lives to those who chose to drive under the influence. Our district attorney wants residents to know everyone in our community is invited to attend this event and take part in this important awareness campaign. The event is for crime victims and their families in which the entire public is invited, but we invite everyone to come together to take a stand against crime and to also lend their support for crime victims and their families. This event means a lot for me personally and for the members of my office and the members of law enforcement because we stand up for victims' rights every single day. But to have a day that we can all come together and interact with crime victims Helps, um, helps our resolve, helps us rededicate ourselves to what our mission is, and that is to help victims of crime and seek justice for them in a court of law. But it's really for everyone that wants to come and take a stand against crime. The Crime Victims March will last from 3 to 4 p.m. at 1215 Truxton Avenue in the East Courtyard between the Kern County Administrative Building and Superior Courthouse. Attendees are invited to bring signs or wear t-shirts representing the victims they are honoring. The Kern County Sheriff's Office is inviting the community to get to know their officers by joining them for a cup of joe. KCSO is hosting a Coffee with a Cop event on April 27th from 10 to 11.30 in the morning at the Starbucks at 2405 North Chester Avenue in Bakersfield. Residents are encouraged to stop by and enjoy a free cup of coffee while getting to know our local deputies. If you can't make this event, don't worry. KCSO is hosting another one on June 17th at the Starbucks at 5210 Olive Drive in Bakersfield. KCSO hosts Coffee with a Cop events throughout our entire county and wants local businesses to know if they want to host one of these events in their community, they can call KCSO's Crime Prevention Unit at 661-391-7559. For more information, please visit kernsheriff.org. As the weather heats up, Kern County Public Health is encouraging the community to stay safe in and around water. Their latest Water Watchers program stresses the importance of water safety. From basic water tips to information on hands-only CPR, Public Health wants residents to know they are here to support Kern County families. The Water Watchers program is very simple in nature. You come down to Kern County Public Health, 1800 Mount Vernon, and you pick up a Water Watcher lanyard. It comes with a card and it comes with a whistle. And whenever you're with children around any body of water, every adult takes 15 minutes, wears the lanyard, and does nothing but watch the children. The second part of this is learning hands-only CPR. Anybody from the public can come to Kern County Public Health and ask I want to learn hands-only CPR and one of my staff in EMS will come down and take five minutes, that's all it takes, to teach you how to save a life. You can access these program resources at kernpublichealth.com. Kern County Public Works wants to help you get organized this spring. 
They're hosting two upcoming bulky waste collection events to help you get rid of unwanted household bulky items, which includes everything from appliances to mattresses to barbecue grills. The first collection event will be held Saturday, April 23rd, from 8 in the morning until 12 noon in Lake Isabella at their community's Veterans and Senior Center located at 6405 Lake Isabella Boulevard. The other collection event will be held Saturday, April 30th in Fraser Mountain Park at 3801 Park Drive during those same times. For information about these events and what items are considered bulky waste, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And we're ending today with a way you can give back to Mother Nature in honor of Earth Day. This Saturday, April 23rd, you can take part in the Keep Kern Beautiful Great American Cleanup by helping to beautify our county. There will be multiple organized cleanup events throughout our area, including Lake Isabella, Boron, Oildale, Shafter, and Bakersfield but you don't need to attend one of these events to make a difference. Our entire community is encouraged to pick up trash on Saturday around their neighborhoods and do their part to keep Kern beautiful. For contact information about each scheduled cleanup event, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.